Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick update on my Caustic Arrow build. So if you guys didn't know, I have uh, basically the League Starter up on my YouTube already. And this is going to be in Delve Solo Cell Found Hardcore. You can see that at, at the top right. So currently with our links, we're rocking uh, Swift Affliction, Caustic Arrow, Void Manipulation, Vicious Projectiles. Now to get Vicious Projectiles and Swift Affliction, you are going to have to go do Library since you don't get it from Act 3 or 2 or whatever it is. You can also get Slower Proj there. Um, now I did find a Quill Rain. Personally, I would probably drop either basically one of these three support gems, whichever one you prefer, and you want to sock it in Volley. Volley is extremely good because Volley allows you to basically hit in a really nice range and you can pierce with your piercing shots that you're going to get from your passive tree. So if you actually go ahead and look, you'll notice that the passive tree is probably extremely similar to the one that I showed you guys on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, it pretty much just goes like this. Uh, we will be probably coming up here grabbing Ballistic Mastery, Aspect of the Eagle. We're also going to go ahead and move across and grab Art of the Gladiator, Fury Bolts. We've got all this stuff to grab. All this is explained in the previous video. So, let's go ahead and show you guys what it feels like to play Caustic Arrow. And uh, just as a counter, uh, we're currently dealing... Let's see, where's the damage over time on Mr. Caustic Arrow? 4.2k. And I have been trying out Agony Crawler, which is the new Herald, but it doesn't really do much for me right now. Uh, we also have a Poison uh, Barrage and Withering Touch setup. It's mainly just to apply the Withering Touch. You can just use a Wither Totem. None of these links are optimized. We're still just really leveling, so let me show you. I decided to personally run Blasphemy Temp Chains instead. Um, it just makes it feel a bit more safe, especially because I'm playing a bit aggressive when I'm leveling. I have been trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my Mirage Archer since I pretty much don't really use it right now. There's a lot of stuff I feel like I can add into the build that I'm pretty excited to showcase. Just need a moment to catch my now if you guys are curious and you want to follow my progression live, uh, I do stream live every day at twitch.tv, and you guys can basically... Oh, actually, is this freeze box? No freeze, good. You can basically, if you're curious, just go on there, and there's a little helmet icon, or you can use a profile command, and it will bring everything up live for you guys. Now, if you want to increase a single target even more, with the exception of applying the Withering Stacks, you could also go ahead and um, you can use this jewel called Spreading Rot. Although I don't think my build actually picks up the, the spots for it. I'm, I'm not really, it's whatever to me. It's just I know people have been having additional issues. So if you need some extra single target, you can try using that with Blight. Also, for our Labyrinth, we did actually pick up um, our Patient Reaper, and we'll be going towards Prolonged Pain next. Prolonged Pain is going to be super good because it's going to give us uh, basically 15% more damage over time and increased skill effect duration, which is pretty nice considering our skill effect is only 1.8 seconds, so just adding a little bit of time does not really hurt. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and move towards Katava. Maybe a little scared of Kataba. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Kataba does scare me every so often. Mr. Katava, I know you're over here. 
Don't die on a YouTube video? I can't remember the last time I died on a YouTube video. Oh, oh, that's new, isn't it? I don't remember that being there. Oh yeah, I don't have decoy totem yet. I kind of, I really should grab a decoy totem. It does help like quite a bit for bossing. I mean, personally for bossing, I think you should play a different class. Like something like champion would be far better suited in my opinion for bossing. You would get free fortify and you would have the ability to not miss. You would take reduced damage and you have built in sustain as a champion. Your ascendancy really makes a big part of that. So I'm not running a mana potion, so I'm just going to take this like nice and slow. Oops, didn't mean to weapon swap there. Probably dropped the poison support from this, I don't really need it anymore. Even just a little rallying cry would probably go pretty far away now that I think about it. I feel like Kataba dies faster than the heart. Last charges really fast. Oh, don't you have to fight the heart from fifty percent? Oh, I think that's the last Katapa, like, the actual Katapa phase. So yeah, I mean, it, it feels really fucking solid to me. Um, Costa Caro has been pretty crazy as a league starter so far. I mean, just to think, like, the amount of extra damage we can get that we haven't even socketed in. Um, damage on full life does actually work for Costa Caro, and being as we're a trickster, staying at full life is extremely easy, so this is a great support for us. Um, and then, I don't remember the other one. We're still... Uh, Decay. Decay is another one I'm going to look at. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, just to go over my gear to show you guys what I am currently using. It's pretty shit, but here you go. Uh, remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, feel free to check out my channel. Um, it'll all be linked below. Anyway, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And keep delving, because I haven't really done much in it yet, because I'm really fucking scared of the darkness. <laughs>